Hello everyone, my name is Angerson and welcome back to this Imperator Rome Purple Phoenix run. So I am finally back at home, which means that hopefully sound etc should be better. Although I'm not sure whether the, the I sorted out the volumes perfectly. I did a couple of test recordings, so hopefully it should be okay. If not, do let me know. Anyways, so it has been a couple of days since I last played, and uh, I, do, <laughs> I don't remember starting a war. Um, but I see what I'm trying to do here. So we have, you know, using Antigonids against fighting these ones because they were allied to Macedon. I presume they're still allied. Yes, they are. Although we will crush all of Macedon here, uh, more or less. I mean, we barely have any aggressive expansion. We have claims quite a lot of claims so and we'll see what else we can take usually they don't really have that many forts apart from this area down there so we'll see about leaving that um we have money for another invention not quite sure why we have not spent those are we saving money for something um, we do want to upgrade this, but it's political influence we are lacking at the moment. We are influencing, so that's fine. Oh, are these... No, they're not. Okay. Excellent, so they're not actually going to waste. This is apparently the wrong religion. It is, I presume, that our useless governors. Yep, they've decided a trade is what we should focus on. Um, so how, how does, what does that mean? Are we actually converting anyone? Kind of. Um, I don't think we have any cities here, right? No, Ugh, tribal. I mean, we could found cities. I don't think any of these ones do help. This is just for, yeah, assimilation. So, um, pop conversion speed. You are pretty rubbish as far as uh, governors go, aren't you? Oh, I haven't got that one here. Okay, right. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, sorry, I should have sorted this out before I started recording. Anyway, so, oh, it's me. Okay, I am pretty rubbish, apparently. Uh, finesse. Well, five could be worse. Right, but we don't need to actually appease them because they are ridiculously loyal, aren't they? I'm just clicking random thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fine. The only ones that are disloyal are these ones, which is... Well... Sucks to be them. Also, I seem to be unable to get the oligarchs into control, which is, you know, a shame. Anyway, let's just... Siege more. And... We are blockading it, so that's all fine. I believe, I mean, I, I seem to actually remember us fighting here, and I do think we fought them off recently. Okay, that's slightly annoying, um, but I will wait for this siege to finish. Oh, come on. Um, General of the Fourth Stratos? What? I have another army? Oh, you! Who I lost a battle with. Well, let's just send this person away. You can keep doing that. So if you could finish this siege, like, immediately, that would be fantastic. That is just plain, so we can easily crush you. Well, not if you walk away, of course. Um, right, this is farmland. You are locked. 
You'll get there on the 21st, you'll get there on the 18th and 19th. Perfect. Okay, 19th, you are running a uh, hair. Well, um, what if it is? So this should easily crush your army. Which apparently again seem to be mainly built up of um, donkeys. Which is fine. I mean, beating the donkeys eats up as much manpower as anything else. Oh no, apparently not. Alright, um, yeah, you can walk over there, you don't need to force march. Okay. I mean, this army can deal with those 3k, if needs be. Excellent. Okay, so we now have this one. Um, the war goal is what? Amalthia. Which is this. So, we do want to quickly siege down of these two. And then you, my friend, want to... Actually, you, my friend, want to siege down everything. Let's see, we'll sneak you up there. Now, I'm not quite sure where the 3k went. Um, but it is more, you know, interesting to see where this 13, 14k are going, though. Well, if he wants to go and... Siege down, siege back his capital. I'm more than happy to meet him there. Okay, you are back here. You are recovering very, very slowly. That's okay. Uh -huh. Oh, and I can't get into those ones. That's fine. All right, let's march up this way then. This is a bit annoying, of course, because he can siege down this stuff and I can't. Do we have the ticking wall score yet? No. Oh, it's this one as well. Right, so that is planes. I think I'll go for a fight here. You are pretty crappy as far as mercenary characters go, though. Um, unfortunately, a six and six. Let's wait today. We'll still win though, but okay, so. So they are running a tortoise. We will run hyena. Now, unfortunately, because I'm forced to send in my own army first, um, we are losing troops here, which would be better if we had the actual, you know, mercenaries doing that, but. Wow! Really? Okay, phew. That was really, really terrible. Oh well. At least our uh, mercenaries had to fight a bit, I guess. Okay, so you go there and you go there. And let's just quickly siege this down. So we'll grab the capital to get the money back. And yeah, just move from there. Ooh, more trade routes. So... Olives, I think, is what we want, because National Slave Happiness plus 8% is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, you are taking forever to actually recover, but at least you could deal with those 3k if it comes to that. Yeah, well, we don't care that much about Cappadocia. Although it would be great if you could finish sieging them down. Also, you should probably look at grabbing the war goal as soon as possible so we don't have, you know, the annoying um, thing. Heavy infantry costs, do, 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 anything. Population capacity is great. We're not going to be spending any political influence on any of the um, 
province improvements. Not anytime soon anyway. Could technically afford another one, but I think we're getting close enough. Well, I guess we do get money from just, you know, being awesome. Um, yeah, in fact, you go there and you go for the city. Let's just get the ticking war score. So the question is, how much do we want to take in this war? Question is obviously as much as we can. Well, we're going to replace as soon. We don't really care that much. Okay. Let's march over here and see if we can force another battle. Cause why not? This is, oh, come on. Hmm. <laughs> Who are you? You're the governor. Yeah, we can spend some political influence there, I think. I mean, this guy is very, very sneaky. I'll give them that. Okay, there we go. This technically means we... what? Really? What else are we missing? Oh, that one. Okay. Well, let's see if we can quickly crush this army. This is the problem with them not having any force whatsoever. <laughs> it makes it tricky for us to keep the actual war goal. Um, but let's just go and make sure we have the ticking war score at least. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. And also you... Um, we could send you over to deal with that. Or to just be around here. But let's just grab this quickly. I don't want to get you know, the... There we go. So now we got 23 war score. So he's actually able to sort out quite a decent army. The question is if we can divide them and crush them. Which is looking possible. Are we just going to get those ones to fight first? The question is... Do we want to kill those or these ones? I think these ones actually. They have very, very weak troops. So we should be able to deal with those before he actually managed to get over here, which we can. Nice. And now you are stuck into Edessa. So let's just take the marks, send them in there. Those troops are faffing off somewhere we don't care. Um, that means we should be able to safely grab these, walk down there and siege down the capital. And you can follow. So I don't know where he's going with those ones and I do not care. Unless he of course, you know, starts to actually siege down our um, you should probably hang back. So you won't be able to go past here unless he sieges down the fort at least. So I am safe here unless he manages to get to uh, military access to those ones, which is quite possible. No, my base metals. Uh, so that doesn't update. That's a bit annoying to be honest. Um, boom, 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 base metals. Well, we can get this from you instead, so there we go. So that's precious. Yeah. Okay, so he'll get the ticking war score once he sieges that one back, but that's okay. Oh, we actually died. Um, well, let's put ourselves in charge here fairly quickly then. Are we going to be awful at our job again? 
Um, we're going blind. At this rate, it would be quicker for me to actually check what my military skill is rather than try and scroll through everyone. Uh, well, I'm better. All the finesse is pretty awesome, so I think we will swap to conversion here and just see if we can please them. I mean, there's no harm. All right, sure, you can be it. And yeah, uh, let's get another invention. Question is what? Is this effect a um, mercenary cost? I probably should have checked that. Okay, so we are in charge here. We should be getting all the money. Um, right. Nice. Loyalty characters plus two again, that is pretty awesome. He is going to actually siege down the fort there, which is good news because that will keep him stuck for a bit. Meanwhile, we can go and siege down all of these things. So there are no forts in this one, no forts in this one. The only one which does have forts is this one down here. So we could potentially, you know, not bother sieging that one down. Which might not be a terrible choice. Let's just go and siege some other things while we can. 18 ducats. Now here we should be getting a fair amount of money. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing there because... You can faff about your sieging as much as you want. You're not going to get anything from it. Oh, we actually caught him. Oh well. No, let's have you siege down the actual um, stuff which gives money. Ponticulture. Are those one of the ones? Um, that we have integrated. Traditionalists are using their influence in the bowl to attempt to revoke the rights of a Pontic subjects. Oh, is that part of their agenda at the moment then? Revocation. Oh. That would drop down this significantly. It is changing quite a lot though. Um, I don't want to do that. Screw you. Okay, so we are actually below now. Oops. But yeah, they're still growing quite quickly. So we should get that back before long. Okay, um, we almost have enough to start founding. That's a bit annoying though. And that's even more annoying, but hey ho. Nice money. Okay, so. Definitely wanted to be a metropolis, so we're going to go for that. And we're going to siege down this one, siege down that one. Um, At least we don't have a fort taking this one. Well, 
<laughs> sounds like it's a good thing. Not necessarily a good thing, but it means um, you won't be able to re-siege it over and over again. Let's go and grab that uh, city once just for the sake of the money. And then we'll see. So what we want in this peace deal is, you know, this one, because we have a claim on it. This one, because, well, we don't have a claim for it. That one. That one. That one. And we'll be wanting that one as well. Now he seems kind of not so keen on this at the moment, but I'm fairly certain we can convince him otherwise. Um, lose popularity for you. Um, no, you can, well, I can lose a bit of popularity because that's going to go up quite quickly. <coughs> Um, if you could just stay there and waste a couple of uh, months, and then I'll come up and smash you. Which I think sounds like a fair deal. Um, 18 ducats for 6 stability. Yes, please. Okay, there we go. 57. Come on. Save. Alright, there we go. Let's go and see if we can deal with this army then. Just so we can sort out and have the ticking war score back. It's not really much else in terms of cities. I mean, we could <sighs> siege this down, but either we need to use the boats or we need to, you know, siege through all of those forts there. Neither of which is that appealing to me. Um, have you. You're still allied to Macedon, so we do want to finish this war first. Hmm. He's going to run away. Not quite ideal, but sure. Send you over there and have you siege this one back. Oh, come on, people. Any other religious people? Well, sure. And again, we do have plenty of money, so let's just keep doing this. Loyalty of characters plus two is just good. I believe we already had one of those inventions. We should have just a free plus four loyalty at the moment, which is very nice. Okay, let's see if we can get this army. Oh, pretenders in Macedon. So where are you going after this? Oh, he does have an absolute crap general. In that case, 6th of November. Wait, when, when am I getting there? 10th of November. What if we are to Sixth and sixth. All right. Nope. Well, this is kind of frustrating. Um, but what we'll do for now, though, is yeah, you're both force marching. So let's have you go over there. Uh, you actually go and siege those things up there. This is annoying as well. Can I piece out any of your ones here? Like, do you want to just um, go away? Uh, 
Incidentally, this will also, you know, um, up a war score. Okay, there we go. Excellent, that means that we hold all the capitals down here. Uh, he's alone. So once we actually manage to siege this one down, we should be able to take whatever we want in this war. Which is going to be everything. Okay, but I think that's going to have to wait for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.